Hey YouTube, Omar back again, this time with my Euro 2012 video. Uh, just kind of a recap of what's happened and what I think is going to happen. So I'm going to be reading the standings off my phone, so uh, if I'm looking down. Also, I have this, uh, I'll show you. It's a printable bracket I found on, on this site I like called Bleacher Report, and it's, it's pretty nice. So we'll start in Group A. Uh, you got Russia in first place with four points. Uh, Czech Republic in second with three. Poland in third with two. And Greece in fourth with one. And the final two games are Czech Republic versus Poland and Greece versus Russia. So in, in this in this group, uh, it's been pretty mixed. It's it's not a very strong group. Uh, from I, as again, let me just state this: I don't know much about soccer. I'm really going off of the World Cup, uh, watching the Euro games and what I've what I've heard, you know, from other from bigger fans. But not the strongest of groups. Um, Czech Republic has been well. I guess. All right. So I'm gonna have to put Russia in first place. I I don't think Russia will have any problem beating Greece, considering the fact that they blew out Czech Republic and Czech Republic beat Greece. So you know the my elimination standards say Russia beats Greece. So that will put Russia as the first team in uh, Group A, and then I'm gonna say Poland beats Czech Republic. Uh, Poland has two ties. They tied Greece 1-1 in the opening game of the uh, Euro 2012, and then they tied Russia 1-1. So, you know, good result there for them to get that point, and I think that they'll beat the Czech Republic. It might be a tie, but I don't think you can, you can tie in that circumstance. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you could. Hmm. Now I'm going to go with Poland in a 1-0 or 2-1 two, two victory. Should be interesting. But, uh, you know, all Czech Republic has to do in that game is uh, tie, and they're moving on. That is if Russia beats Czech Russia beats Greece. So I'm going to say uh, Russia and Poland. Then we have Group B, the group of death. Uh, so far, is it? yeah, it's the group of death. So you got... Uh, first place, Germany, six points, and automatically in the second round. Uh, second place, Portugal, three points. Tied with second place, Denmark, three points. They are tied because there is no goal differential. Uh, how, however, the tiebreaker does go to Portugal because they beat Denmark head-to-head. -head. And last place, the Netherlands, with zero points. But they're still in it. Uh, what do I think will come out of this game? Uh, I think I mean this group. Uh, the last, the final two games are Denmark versus Germany and Portugal versus the Netherlands. Uh, Germany, <sighs> Germany beats Denmark one nothing. I think Denmark really, really, uh, it's really. I think their their chances died when they gave up that late goal uh, to Portugal. I forget who scored it. But uh, I think their chances died right there of making it to the second round. They haven't died, but definitely took a big blow. They needed that point, pick up that point there. Uh, so I'm going to say Germany beats Denmark, and Germany wins the group uh, with a perfect 3-0 and record. And then I'm going to say Portugal beats the Netherlands because the Netherlands have just looked terrible so far in this tournament. I mean, maybe the Netherlands pull a point, but even if they pull a point... Uh, the Netherlands will not will not be in it. They have to win the game and get a good goal differential. But yeah, so I'm gonna say Germany and Portugal advance in in the order that it's in right now, uh, which would mean in the first round and the top of the of the uh, the round of eight. So we'll just call it the elite eight. The elite eight in the top of the bracket. We got the winner of Group A. I picked Russia versus runner-up Group B. I got Portugal. I'm going to take Portugal. I think Group B is number two. Group B's uh, B team is definitely better than Group A's A team. And I'm going to say Portugal gets into the uh, the semifinal in Donetsk. Donet, Donet, I don't even know. I'm not even try. And then the winner of Group B versus runner-up Group A. So that would be, in my picks, Poland taking on... Uh, Germany, that's not even a contest. 
Germany kills them and moves on to the semifinals. Okay, so now Group C, we have Germany in first place with, I mean, no, Group C, Spain in first place with four points, Croatia in second place with four points, uh, and Spain and Croatia have not played, but the tiebreaker is that Spain has a better goal differential. Uh, Italy, second, third place, two points, Ireland, last place, uh, zero points, and they are eliminated. What can you say? Ireland... Terrible. Uh, gave up seven goals, and to that, Italy's got to be happy that they picked up two ties. In fact, Italy should have picked up a win, but they're okay because they picked up two ties, and I think they'll pick up a win and get five salvage five points from this group. Uh, Spain and Croatia, I see a tie there, um, so that they'll all have five points at the end of the day. Um, and Italy tie with both Spain and Croatia. Uh, so, oof, where are the tiebreakers going to be? Um, with the goal differential, though, I'm going to say Italy wins 3-1. to one, But, oh, man. So, I'm going to take Spain and Italy. Spain, number one. Italy, number two. in Group C. Moving on to Group D. Uh, which hasn't, you know, been that action-packed. You got Ukraine, three points. England, one point. France, one point. Sweden, zero points. Sweden, uh, from what I hear, is garbage. Uh, sorry for any Swedes out there that are watching this video. I, I really highly doubt it, but if you are, I'm sorry. But it doesn't seem like your team is too good, uh, which makes me wonder if Ukraine's even that good because Ukraine won against Sweden only 2-1. to one. France and England tied. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, France beats Ukraine, England beats Sweden, England beats Ukraine, and France beats Sweden. And it's France, uh, give me England in first place, and France in second place. They're tied right now, but uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, matter of fact, give me, yeah, England and then France. So then, in the bottom, we got winner of Group C, Spain, taking on runner-up in Group D, uh, France, I say Spain wins. I mean, this is, as much as anybody wants to deny it, maybe, this is definitely Spain's tournament to lose, although they, you know, they won today 4 nothing against Ireland. They tied their first game, but they're the, they're the World Cup defending champion and the Euro the Cup defending champion. I mean, it's their tournament to lose uh, completely. So I'm going to say Spain makes it to the semifinals and sets themselves up for a game against Portugal. And then we got the winner of Group D, uh, England, taking on the runner-up in Group C, uh, Italy. I'm going to say Italy wins that one. And then the semifinals. We've got Spain taking on Portugal. I'm going to take Portugal. I mean, I'm going to take Spain, Spain. And then we got Germany taking on uh, Italy, and I'm going to take Germany. So Germany and Spain in the final. And you guys maybe weren't expecting this, but I'm going to take Germany to win it all. Uh, from what I've seen, they were good in the World Cup. They're good now. I mean, they're, they're, they're a good team, solid team, 2-0. and And I don't expect them to lose a game this entire tournament. So anyway, that's my uh, very uneducated uh, video on the Euro 2012. You know, comment with your thoughts. Maybe you think I'm crazy. I, maybe I am crazy. Who knows? But I want to hear what you guys think about what will go down in what has been an exciting tournament already. Okay, guys. See you later.